Hello Big Fam, welcome to another exciting episode of Big Love with Phoebe Big. And I know you might be wondering, oh like, where am I going to see some ingredients on the table? <laughs> that is because we're going to be doing something totally different today. Today we're going to be working with our hands, but this time around on our mobile device. So if you're like me, who doesn't yet have a standard digital camera or very good lighting,
is that the goal of editing is to like you know add to some extra qualities but please notice but it doesn't eliminate the fact that you have to make your pictures Because you know, like when it comes to food, yeah, I can look at a full picture and know that okay, this was overly edited. So you want to like ensure that it still looks as natural as possible. So I increase the sharpness. Usually I increase it to like 80. Yeah, depending on how the picture was taken. Probably if it was like a bit blur when it was taken. Probably as a result of my back camera. Okay, so I also like get increased the shadow. You can see the before and after effects. Yeah. So then I just move back to my sharpen because I really want it like very sharpened. Then I save. Then I head over to Instagram because I know most people might be using Instagram, but then they are not aware that Instagram has like an editing feature. So I just click on the same K picture that I just finished editing. Then you just do as if you want to post, then you see the filter and edit, you click on the filter and then I still sharpen again. Like this sharpen is probably my most favorite. And then I go to highlight, I just like increase it a bit. You just want to increase it to your taste. But don't forget the goal of editing. Yeah, so you just want to increase it to your taste. Same thing I do with brightness. You can see if you over edit it so you just want to like leave your brightness between let's say 10 actually it's all dependent on how your picture was taken so you want to do it to your taste and then you process and then you head over to post and then you make your post on instagram so that is basically it Okay guys, so we're just going to go over this process again, this time around with a different cake picture because I really want you guys to see the before and after effect. So we're just going to like repeat the same process, like it's the same, I sharpen, yeah, so just like the same process. So you want to ensure that you do not over edit, you can see like the before and after effect. Yeah, so ensure emphasis is on do not over edit. Yeah, so we're just going over the same process, like over the same process. And if you have any question, don't forget to leave them in the comment section. I would respond to as many as I can. Yeah, so once you're done, you just want to save and it goes straight to your um, phone, your phone or your SD card memory. And you just want to repeat the same process of okay going over to use the Instagram editing tool yeah so if you're using the Instagram the Instagram editing tool you also want to ensure that you do not over edit because you just finished editing it using InShot so you can see the before and after effect like it's damn clear <laughs> 